All right, so I'm making a Tesla 30 amp adapter. Uh, so you can see here, I've got a dog bone. We've got the 50 amp side right here, which is the NEMA 1450. And then we've got the 30 amp side, which is the NEMA TT30. The problem with this is that the voltages on these two are going to be identical. In other words, um, if you took a voltmeter and you put a pin here and another pin here, you would read zero volts because there would be no difference. And essentially what I'm going to have to do is to take the neutral wire, which is uh, currently hooked up to here, and wire it over to here. And then that way Tesla will see 120 volts on 30 amps of power. Keep in mind that the car will naturally want to go up to 50 amps, so you will have to turn it down and make sure that it doesn't exceed 24 amps. The reason it's 24 amps is typically you only want 80% of the current, um, so 80% of, of 30 amps is 24. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut open this and uh, we'll check back in a bit just checking in but it's pretty hard to cut through this really thick wire so it helps to have a pair of cutters like these ones All right, so my neighbor had this really skinny screwdriver managed to fit inside the tiny little holes. So annoying that they make you use this really skinny screwdriver. All right, and there we have it. Just tightening this up. All right, so I'm back. Uh, so there it is. You can see. The problem is this gasket here it's too it's too big for for the thickness of this wire the problem that comes to mind is if water ingresses in here however this isn't a sealed unit so technically if water does get in it, like water could ingress from any of these screw holes um yeah so it, it would be watertight anyways um just to be safe though I'm, i am probably going to put some grout in here uh, just some silicon uh, to fill it in to make it a little bit more watertight. Uh, but for now, it's pretty much done. I'm just going to put this back on. And I should be, and it should be good to go at an RV site.